Thank you for tuning in. I wanted to uh, just do a quick video update as it relates to uh, this Rise Tello. Now this is actually being sold by DJI. A lot of people refer to it as a DJI Tello. To be accurate, it's uh, manufactured by Rise Robotics and sold by DJI. It has DJI and Intel technology inside of it. If you guys would have asked me five years ago if I'd be talking about this on the channel, I would absolutely say no because to me this looks like a toy but what i want to share is just how far along technology has come there's actually a sdk and we've integrated drone blocks I want to demonstrate some of that but you can see uh, these sensors on the bottom uh, there's a camera the front and a lot of the capabilities that we offer in drone blocks are available uh, with Tello. Now this does not have GPS, but the SDK does allow us to control distances. We can specify uh, units in inches or centimeters, which is really cool. And it's, it's fairly accurate, given that uh, most of the flight that we're doing is indoors and it's using these uh, sensors, probably in conjunction with accelerometer and gyroscope uh, to determine distance. The first thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and power up this a red marking is just the, the Wi-Fi name. This actually broadcasts a Wi-Fi hotspot that you connect to, and then we can send commands to it. So I'm going to just go ahead and press the power button. See it's initializing. Then on my iPad, I'll go to my Wi-Fi settings, and we can see uh, Tello. So it'll go ahead and create a local connection with Tello. Now I'll go ahead and Let's see if I can open drone blocks. It is now connected. Let me go ahead and get rid of this block and we'll just do a simple mission. I'll just do a takeoff, maybe a fly, right? I won't change any of these values just to keep it simple for now. You can see that I can specify inches or centimeters, which is pretty cool. And let's go ahead and just do a flip to the right and then we will finish it off with a land block. Mission is in place. I'll go ahead and hit launch. And it's gonna come all the way down. And you can see just how stable it is. Not much drift. <laughs> Just executed our mission, pretty impressive. We'll do another just quick test. We'll have a takeoff. It'll fly forward 60 meters, do a 360 degree yaw, a bunch of flips forward, backward, left and right. Then it will fly backward and then land. Now I do have it, Tello sitting on a little black piece of tape that I used to mark the center of my garage for the ping pong table. And we'll just see, I don't have high expectations here, but uh, we can see how close Tello lands to uh, where it took off from. So let's go ahead and launch the mission. Okay, so it's finished the sequence and should be landing now. So it's about, I'd say two feet from the takeoff location. There is a bit of drift. So that's drone blocks for Tello. We're currently in beta. Hope to get it out to the app store soon. I believe Tello will be available publicly in a few weeks. So definitely be on the lookout and if you guys uh, or interested in STEM or teaching after school programs. Uh, I think this is a great way to learn. We're gonna have some lessons that demonstrate uh, how to learn how to program as well as use Tello. And ultimately we hope as students become more familiar with uh, programming and drones, they can get into our, some of our more complex lessons that work with the uh, Phantoms, Mavic Pros, Inspire Ones. Just as a side note, we recently uh, did a workshop where students had to program Tello to go through uh, these little hoops and it was definitely challenging. You know, there's all sorts of drift going on and uh, inconsistent results. It's definitely a fun lesson and just shows you uh, the capabilities of, of such a small drone in a really amazing price point for $99. Just wanted to share that update. I'll post once uh, DroneBlocks support for Tello goes live. If you have any questions or comments, 
please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.